a YouTuber named Sinful the Peak. He was on the O'Shea Duke Jackson channel interview is discussing about black America and white America. And in actuality, the perspective of how the black men think, the average African American men, how they process information and their emotions. And it was really interesting. I, I actually enjoyed it. But then he made a recent video addressing the crime that's going on in the inner city of Chicago, specifically the west side and south side of Chicago, and a little bit of the north. And you know, so many shootings been going on in Af I mean, Africa, in Chicago. So many things been going on in Chicago. You have um, some little say is organ trafficking. Many others say it's the police officers killing these individuals, and of course it's taken over by the gangs. But I want to say is this, you know, when he was stressing that the organ trafficking is pretty much predominantly going on, it's like almost like 100% what's going on in between the residents of Chicago, I have to disagree on that because it's between 5,000 and 10,000 gangs in the city of Chicago. I mean, we just had, I'm on 2015, according to the statistics of the crime lab, and there were like 475 homicides in 2016 year after that it was about 764 homicides man i mean ages between 15 to 35 of african-american men are coming up with this or doing this crime more than half of them and now it's between like ages 11 to 62 years old we had 11 year old girl that was shot in the face i want to say a couple of days ago man over the weekend this is one of the most violent weekend of chicago in the last than two years and you know so maybe thinking about the black panther movement that was really heavily influenced of course by huey p newton and fred hampton in his 20s and fred hampton is from some illinois but he went down to chicago and at that particular times black people you know had each other they all they had was each other they was eliminating trying to get rid of the jim crow era and you know they they wanted to rebound and, and continually just be treated like everyone else just with respect you know just not to be judged by the color of their skin or the content of their character and you know of course they they joined the black panther movement the organization to protect residents from uh, unlawful police or law enforcement and this you know you move forward you now the affirmative action crime bill the drugs that was planted in the black community is just really escalating i mean even in 1990s i heard according to the chicago tribune this has been going on for the longest i mean people just killing each other on an alarming basis now what based on my knowledge some people said you know, from chicago is that uh, a lot of the gang members the rival gangs they're actually living close to each other i mean so many of the projects and the buildings are being broken down and so they're in close proximity to one another that's going to increase a lot of the violence as well and most importantly the residents are not speaking up the residents are do not have a good relationship with the police department so for instance um mayor rom emmanuel he wants um you know the superintendent eddie jackson a police superintendent he wants them the the community to cooperate with law enforcement but the thing is in the black community we got this code that stitches snitches get stitches you know if the worst person the worst thing to call a black person is a snitch. You don't want to have a reputation at that. And, you know, you got even older people in the boomer generation are going with this ideology. I mean, people don't want to get smite because the gangs are controlling and terrorizing the communities. They are afraid. As a two-year-old, um, someone said on the news, her two-year-old was riding a bicycle inside the house because to avoid the dangers of this in the city of Chicago. I mean, it was a gentleman, I'm not going to reveal his name, but he got shot on the bus stop. You know, he was 22 years old on his way to work. Is this stuff is happening in broad daylight. Organ trafficking happens strategically. It happens usually mainly at night or when it's not around a lot of people. Why is people calling the ambulance all the time? Why is people getting shot on Facebook Live on an alarming basis, man, in that city? I just can't think that all organ trafficking, all this is going on at an alarming rate. I mean, you have, you got to look at the numbers, man. 74 people were shot. Well, it was 74, 74 shootings and 12 uh, fatalities, man. It's, 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 it's crazy. I, I mean, I just can't think that. Because when you shift that mindset, you believe that it's just organ trafficking and the police department just killing black people, then it, it's going to give black people an excuse in that city not to take responsibility. 
that's my only thing about that and um you know, I like Sinful the P. I like other people, you know what I'm saying? They just discussing this. And I'm not from Chicago, so, I mean, I could be wrong, but I'm just trying to use logic here. I think what it is is that, you know, the residents gave up. They gave up hope within their government. And it's just, they, you know, people just don't know what to do at this point. I mean, people is in desperate mode. They don't have the little education that they have. They, don't, they have no food. They don't type of. They're in survival mode. It's like survival of the fittest. And what's really um, inspiring these kids is the drug dealers. I feel like. And of course, you can um, blame the media, but people want that fast money. And at the same time, you know, the single parent family ho- household. Uh, some like men, they got to do what they have to do to go out there and trap and and make this money so they can put food on the table. And it pretty much constitutes to illegal activity that's what i feel like what's really going on in chicago the solution to me is i think is this they need to have peace and correlation with the government and their local mayor city council and they have a have a meeting with the police department you know talk to eddie jackson uh, they need public safety i feel like cook county is not providing public safety they dropped the ball on that you know um but the citizens are not stepping up. You know, the citizens are not speaking up. They know who's doing these crimes in their communities. But like I said, we're going on by black code that whoever snitch gets stitches. And that's just how it is. That's the code that we've been living on for the longest, man. And it's going to continually to go on. You know, we're losing too many good people, too many black people, man. Too many just predominant good successful people or people that was on the verge to success. And um, you know, the trap music that's going on too as well. I mean, the drill music, it's it's a lot. And um never been to Chicago, I'd love to go there, you know, talk to the you know, the government or something, man, but you know, I, I just don't want to see my people perish like that on alarming rate for nothing. You know, so we we losing it's too many people. But for me, I just don't think that organ trafficking I could be wrong, but I don't really think that organ trafficking is really the prime factor. Uh, of this crime is the main reason I just think that we have public relations with the government but a lot of people are not stepping up it's an election that just happened so I don't know who's uh, going to be elected governor pretty soon of Illinois but um, you know Rahm Emanuel I guess he's tirelessly working hard but you know CPD is some people said CPD is corrupted it, in some cases this could be true but you know as, as a people man you know um, like cities like Los Angeles, New York, Detroit uh, Baltimore, St. Louis, I mean, all these other cities, man, Oakland, California, they suffering like this too, but they have so many people are, are retaliating, and too, it could be an evil spirit that's um, hovering all over these people, man, so, it could be a manufacturer, but, you know, this was pretty much a little response to this, I'm praying for the city of Chicago and just other people, but, you know, we gotta kind of just stay out the way, and the people just have to change, you know, but it's your boy, Young Lee Jr., you guys continue to like, comment, subscribe. Um, you know, my condolences to the people that was that was killed, man. Um, you know, this probably ain't gonna be on the mainstream media. I'm out. Deuces.